telephone conversation between President Johnson and Congressman Hale Boggs on November 29, 1963 at 11.30 a.m. Congressman Boggs. Uh, we are having some serious things uh, present themselves in connection with all these investigations going yeah. on. Yes. On the Dallas thing. Now, yes. we think perhaps the best way to approach this is try to get uh, a couple of members of the House, a couple of Senate, maybe somebody in the court. We don't want to say anything about that to anyone, but I've talked to uh, the Speaker and I've talked to the uh, leader of the Senate and uh, the Justice Department, and that seems to be the consensus best thing to do. I wanted to. That's what I have. Uh, kind of to put in a resolution, but I had no intention of doing it unless until I talk with you. All right. Well, let's hold back. Let me clear that and see how it goes. Now, I got to talk to some other people about it, but I wanted you to know what we were thinking. My thought was that you might put a couple of people on that from the public, too, Mr. President. Well, uh, we might do that. Just, uh, I just, I, I, that was exactly what I had in the resolution that I'd asked uh, Lou Dexel of the draft, but which I have not put in. Two from the House, two from the Senate, two from the Judiciary, and two from the public. Mm. Well, that gives you eight. Yeah, the two, of course, from the public to be appointed by you. Yeah. Well, when they all be appointed, they, their thought was to have a presidential commission. Well, I have a right, all of them appointed by yeah. you. No. Mr. President, you were magnificent last night. Well, thank you, my friend. We sat there, and uh, Lindy and I, and a few of uh, our warm friends, and just cried. You. God, what a job you've done. Uh, you were utterly magnificent. You might have wanted Bird won't spend it, help her on a good many things, so tell her to be be as charitable with my little girl as she can, because she's got to be careful who she has to help. <laughs> well, don't worry. She's got a whole flock of lettuce and things she's working on right now. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Mr. President. 